10 things to do when Venus will be in Cancer from today. <laughs> 7 to 31st July 2024, Venus will be in Cancer. So, we know what Venus is. We know what Cancer is. What are 10 things? The first thing that we should do is enhance domestic harmony. So, there could be a situation where your family needs some time. So, give time to your family. <laughs> um, it could also happen that you might contact or some other person might contact you who was like a elderly motherly figure to you in the past. You might contact them or she contacts you. It could happen that you may interact with them after many years. Could happen. Number two, you should nurture emotional connections. So not only just check for domestic harmony, you know, as I said, point number one, but now also you should try to deepen your connections. Okay. What does it mean, deepening? Deepening means, you know, spending time and trying to understand their problems and trying to solve them. Okay, this could work for friends, uh, for anybody, your colleagues, your spouse, your children, your parents, but try to nurture people emotionally. This is very important. And number three is, you could try to create a good environment within your home. Now, this this good environment could be, you know, you could try to do something like, you know, interior design, comfort, beauty, and, you know, <clears throat> uh, you can also do other things, you know, like converting your home into a smart home because, you know, home is cancer and Venus is smart technology. <laughs> so, therefore, anything which helps you improve the security of the home, you know, or uh, makes your experience living in the home better physically, you can do that, okay? Now, number four, nonetheless, needless to say, when Venus is in Cancer, you can indulge in food, all right? But not in food that is not recommended in the scriptures. So, please uh, explore different recipes that you like and uh, try different things, you know, new, new different things. You can organize dinners, uh, we can get together, spot lucks, you know, uh, this is very important, okay? You will be benefited by this and use your creative skills when it comes to cooking. Number five, take care of your finances because we know Venus may not be the best uh, planet for the sign of cancer because it makes things overly emotional, okay? So you might end up spending too much, especially on cars or you know, interior design or eating out in the whole, out, out in hotels, okay? So, if you are indulging, make sure you do it to a reasonable extent or else you may wonder that, you know, suddenly, oh, I'm left with no money now. Okay, so try not to do it uh, or do it within limit that is permissible for you. So prioritize your savings, you know, review your budget every weekly, four weeks, right? Uh, till the end of July, so uh, I mean three weeks, but yeah, try to prioritize, okay, your budgeting and your expenses. <clears throat> Number six, very important, self-care and wellness. So, take care of yourself, your personality, your looks, your appearance. You know, uh, do do gentle exercises. Practice mindfulness. During this transit, you should be very careful of what you are speaking because, because, because wherever planets transit cancer and especially when Venus transits, people are overly emotional. So, what happens is you say something and it pierces their heart and they can't forget it for the next thousand years. <laughs> so therefore, whenever cancer is involved, if you don't, if you are not cautious of what you say, then the damage may be irreparable, irreversible, irrevocable. <laughs> so therefore, very careful. And who does Venus represent? Venus represents your spouse, right? Uh, so therefore, extra caution for married couples. Very, very, very careful with this. If you know that somebody has some press points, um, don't just stay away from it. <laughs> All right. Number seven, you should embrace creativity of any kind. So Venus, as you know, is the planet of creativity. Uh, Venus, Sun, Mercury, these three planets are primarily the significators of creativity and, of course, Moon. So now what is happening is Venus is in the sign of the Moon. So therefore, 
you should embrace creativity. So any kind of uh, creative work, you know, where uh, you are uh, trying to express yourself, uh, you are able to find a lost part of you. This is something you should explore now. Okay. And then number eight is you should also strengthen your professional relationship. So Venus in Cancer is the best is the the best time to uh, strengthen your both personal and uh, professional relationships because now is the time that if you invest in people then what happens is you will see that people are reciprocating with you they are actually liking your hospitality you know your uh, warmth your affection your love your concern okay so great time to uh, enhance your professional relationship so go out with your colleagues you know have a nice time and be respectful and don't forget whatever you say will be recorded for quality purposes <laughs> number nine fourth house is uh, cancer is the original fourth sign so what is the fourth house fourth house is your skills so make sure you are developing your skills okay so therefore, if in your professional life you are feeling that things are not very great and you you are not able to do what you should have done, so then it means you should now focus on developing new skills. Okay, so eat, be creative, take care of your home, but don't forget new skills. Okay. Because when Minas transits in Cancer, you may be so much intoxicated by, you know, love, romance, food, vacation, beauty, creativity, you know, you, and, you know, you, you're just forgetting life. All right, it can happen. And number 10, most important, you should plan for your future security. Very, very, very important. Because what happens is when Venus transits Cancer, there are things which you learn about yourself, which you, uh, which you might not have known. Yes, it happens. So then what happens is, if there is a part of you which is coming out at the moment, that don't think that it's like coming out from nowhere. If there is a, vi there, there is a gut feeling which you have inside, like, for example, you are not able to vibe with somebody or you are vibing with somebody very well. Nonetheless, whatever it is, plus or minus, please address those concerns and take it into consideration for long-term pursuits. Otherwise, it can be a nightmare because you may think that all these things don't matter. No, I have to do anyways what I have to do. Well, you have to do that. But if there is something, if you have an inner calling and no matter what you do, things don't change, then maybe you might need to uh, make a decision. Okay, So therefore, understand that things which are coming out now from your subconscious mind, those things are not invalid. They are valid. Pay heed to them. Of course, that does not mean you become irresponsible and you say, oh, anyways, you know, I can't do anything. It does a lot. No, it's not like that. But if there is something which you consciously feel and, you know, your elders, your gurus, you know, if they are also telling you that you should do this or maybe you should leave this, then maybe it's high time that you take action, all right? So, I hope these 10 tips helped you to uh, make the best use of a bad bargain, all right? Thank you so much for your patience. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And for personalized consultations, you can always find my website down in the description section. Take care.